update on Atheist Republic's legal battle in India. Um, well, first of all, we have many legal battles in India, so technically this is just one. <laughs> but, um, so many for the... <laughs> um, so the one that I'm talking about is, for those who are not aware, back last year, there were some very butthurt people who brought forward complaints against Twitter um, because of some of our tweets. And uh, so they are um, trying to use the legal system of India to remove some of our you know, very offensive tweets only against Hinduism, which I think is hilarious um, because this whoever filed these complaints had to go through our Twitter to like go look for stuff to be pissed off about because a minority of it is about Hinduism. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so this first hearing was originally back in November and then we had another of 2021 and then we had another hearing in December. And this was to do with um, like talking about the case again, and just another hearing. And at that time, um, the, the, Twitter's lawyer, Twitter's counsel, asked for a week's time to file an affidavit in compliance with the high court order. To what are these hearings about? Like, so this is we didn't start these hearings; they started them. Yes. Okay, and why? Because they want because our Twitter. tweets are so offensive. They want Twitter to remove them. Right, and they're holding Twitter India like they 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 took it so. This is not about just them just reporting our tweets. They filed court cases against Twitter India because of for this is like, and who is doing this exactly? Like, do you also want to for people? Who don't um, know? we don't really know who they are. I mean, I know is who this... the the first petitioner is. It's Aditya Singh Deshal. I have no idea who he is or what his problem is. Right. So it's Adi... like he took it upon himself to do this because we have had government officials coming after us but this is like but and we also had police reports filed against us but this is separate this is these are some private individuals who just took up upon ourselves uh, themselves to take twitter india to court because of our tweets yes okay just so just want to provide some card text for people who don't know what's happening but yeah go on um so uh like i was saying they at the time the twitter's council uh, their lawyers asked for a week to get back to the court and show, file an affidavit showing that they complied with the high court's order because the high court ordered them to remove the specified URLs. The high court said, yes, we agree with you. These should be removed. They, they should get rid of these. Um, so that happened in December. So that was like the last real hearing. And there was supposed to be another hearing. It got delayed again. And you'll probably, for those who remember our last update on this situation, um, we were supposed to have our latest hearing. It got uh, moved to February 17th. So, you know, I promised you guys when we started this fundraiser that I would give you updates when we can. So obviously today is the 26th. When it came to the 17th, um, I asked our legal counsel to appear in court appear at this hearing and intervene um, should they be per, be taking action against us. And they reached out to me and told me that the court wasn't sitting that day and that the matter is next listed for March 28th. So they pushed it back again. Um, Read this one. <laughs> <laughs> Reverend Stormy is saying the Indian legal system is so slow that Susanna will be updating us even after becoming a grandma. <laughs> Seems like it. By the way, um, beyond so, it's amazing what the the efforts that they're making. I mean, they tr they're trying to remove this these tweets, but they're bringing more attention to them. Like next time, by the way, next time we have updates over this, let's like highlight the tweets as well. Because so every time, because the whole point is to make oh, it I so can that. show them right now. Okay, okay. Because the whole point is like for people to not, like they're trying, they're going through all these legal troubles so that people don't see the tweets. Like, okay, like more, less people would have seen the tweets if you didn't talk about them. Because the, the initial audience, like when you post a tweet, 
99% of the people who are seeing it is going to be the first day after you tweet it. So if you're trying to remove it a year after it's posted, like nobody is seeing it anymore. Like, what are you trying to do? And the reason also why we want to push back against this is because this is not about removing your tweets. This is about intimidation tactics, right? This is about making it more people rethinking posting anything that criticizes Hinduism, right? It's an intimidation tactic. And the it's reason why, back. yeah, and the reason why we're fighting back because we want to make sure that these types of intimidation tactics don't work, right? So this is not even about them winning in, in the court. This is about just also like being like, okay, maybe we should stand back, which we didn't. We doubled down, okay? Like we're more than doubled down. Um, and this is why, this is why, by the way, that me and both me, like, I don't know, Susanna as well, but I have like police reports in India against me. Do you have police reports against you as well in India, Susanna? By, by any chance? Or is Susanna? Oh, Susanna got cut for me. Is it, am I still on or is it Susanna? Am I just, am I the one who got disconnected or is it Susanna? Yeah, is it my cut or is it Susanna? Do you guys see me? Anybody in the live chat? Oh. I'm back. Sorry, I, oh, I tried it? to share my screen. My computer pooped its pants. Ah, so I okay, so it was Susanna. Private chat if you want to share it. All right, so I thought it was me. It was you. Okay, so people it confirm me. it. Okay, so I was asking you, do you have police reports against you in India or is it just me? I have one. Ah, oh, you have one too. Well, How I mean, it I was have? an FIR, yeah. How many do I have? Dude, I don't Over even know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm probably winning. Probably at least at, at least five, if not more. Okay, so me like we wanted to go to India, by the way, and we can't <laughs> anymore. I don't know. But what do you think is going to happen if I go to India? Would I get arrested because of all these police reports? Um, so just because someone filed an FIR against you, that doesn't necessarily mean that the police move forward with it. Mm -hmm. um, but they can if but, they wanted to. Yeah, it's not a good idea. Our lawyers officially told us not to. Okay. My understanding is that if you show up at the border, like customs isn't going to run your name and that you're going to come up and they're just going to arrest you right there. That's not Amazing. my impression, but it's still not a good idea. Like why, why risk going to Indian jurisdiction? That's yeah. the real problem. Going to going to Indian jurisdiction where you would be subject to these laws. Over tweets, guys. Like I can't go to India, okay, which was on my bucket list, by the way, because of tweets talking about Hindu goddesses. About drawings about because of drawings of Hindu goddesses, I, I lawyers have advised me never to go to India because I have police reports against me. Okay. Like I, I'm hoping that at some point we could challenge those. I know like we're right now challenging these hearings but with our legal fund and our lawyers, but at some point I'm hoping that we could also challenge these FIRs. Like if we could, you know, afford it at some point, this is taking forever. So I don't know if we will ever get to that, but we should get to that <laughs> <laughs> because this is like bull crap. Like you're like filing police reports against me over drawings of goddesses. Like I want there to be a backlight. I want there to be a response to that. I want there to be a legal response to that. Anyways. Yeah. No. I um <laughs> forever story saying go to Paul, Nepal. We will have a party on the India Nepal border. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should do this. We could yeah, just Nepal meet has... each people on the other side, be like, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um so I like I told you guys, I you know promised that I would give you guys updates when I'm able to. So this is the update. We will hear about this again in March. And, you know, this is another reason why you guys should consider donating to our legal fund uh, to help us fight off Hindutva. Um, if you're financially able to, these are the ki kinds of things that it goes towards. And also having our lawyers prepare a lot of documentation for us, provide letters for us um, on our behalf to different uh, agencies that are taking action against us or private companies. Um, so it's a huge, huge help if you are able to donate. Um, Hara Sultan is saying, I don't even have a police case against me, even in Pakistan. 
Really? Okay, this is insane. This is insane. Harris Sultan is the leading uh, atheist, ex-Muslim, Pakistani content creator talking about Pakistani things, okay? India has police reports against me, even though the highlight of our activism hasn't even been India, okay? Like it will be at some point, okay? But like, even though I'm like a very small figure in India when it comes to criticizing Hinduism, I have police reports against me in India. But even though Harry Sultan is like the main atheist, anti-Islam atheist in Pakistan, he doesn't have police cases against him in Pakistan. How the hell is this possible? I guess like, I guess I'm... <laughs> I guess I'm a but, more but of a Dupa were probably traumatized by your posts. <laughs> I have the post, by the way. Susanna sent me the post to show you what He's is gonna all say, these... Pakistan, step it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. By the way, guys, like, yeah, uh, thank you so much to whoever donated to our legal fund. We are at 3500 I never thought we were going to get to this far. It's but amazing. But thank you to it. Yeah, unbelievable. Link to this is in the description. But let me show you what this all is about, okay? So I'm going to... This is the first one, okay? So these are the this is this is what we're being taken to the court for. This is why Twitter India is being taken to court for, okay? So you want to describe what we're looking at, Susanna? Your ignorance and stupidity are my sources of income. Is the okay. text imposed over an image of a holy man or a priest speaking to an elderly couple in front of a shrine? Right. So this is a very standard anti-religion post that we have had made about Christianity and Islam and Judaism. Very many, many, we have many memes like this and nobody has taken us to court for any of those. <laughs> okay. Like we have, we have a lot of memes like this about Christianity and Islam. It's amazing. Muslims haven't taken us to court for memes that we have against Islam, but apparently, apparently Hindu, a lot of Hindu, Hindu for be sensitive. It'd be sensitive, okay? True. But this one, okay, this one is amazing. The, you can't believe, okay, for people who haven't seen it, you can't believe the second tweet, the second tweet that we've been taken to court for, you wouldn't believe how sensitive these people are, that they're taking us to court for this. So there's two tweets. This was the first one. Let me show you the second one. This is the second one. Tell me, don't tell them, tell me in the live chat, why would they take us to court for this? in india is i mean obviously it's because of this for right? those who are listening tell tell them what it is it's kelly and sita kissing each other yeah it's just kelly is goddesses goddess kelly sita is not a goddess she's like just a character she's the one that rama tried to burn alive because people were challenging her modesty which is modesty her chastity Chastity. Well, yeah, you know, which is modesty culture in Hinduism. I yes. mean, I, I, I don't think it's because of this. This just shows our consistency right here. Like right? this drawing yeah. is just Muhammad and Jesus making out with each other on top of an LGBT Kaaba. Okay. I don't think, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't think this is why they were offended. Okay. I think it's, it's Kali and Sita making out with each other that made them offended. All right. And this was an advertisement of Susanna's talk with CFI called Blasphemous Art Project. By the way, Susanna is available for um, speaking <laughs> events if you want to reach out to her. This is a good advertisement of that. Uh, reach out to her at Susanna at AtheistRepublic.com if you want to invite her to speak at your events. Um, but yeah, so this is, they're taking us to court over this. Yes. There was another tweet that they took us to court order to court over. Oh. Um, it was Sorry. Uh, basically a meme that compared Hanuman to Barack and basically, you know, pointing out how both have flying animals and it's ridiculous. But we actually deleted that tweet because there was in the corner of the tweet in, in the corner of the meme, there was like these two little monkeys fighting each other. And I... Yes. I, we deleted that live on air because we're like, this is actually not, this presents it as dehumanizing towards yes. religious people. We didn't notice that little thing at the corner that, yeah. uh, when we saw that 
that was we deleted that we, we were against that meme ourselves we just didn't that little thing in the corner was not uh was something that we missed but this one is fine um they were just sad yeah. they couldn't make it to my talk so <laughs> they had to take it down <laughs> Okay, so Harris is saying, so strange. I've criticized Hinduism in a much harsher manner, but they don't come after me. You should try harder, Harris. Like, I saw one <laughs> police report against me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, try harder, Harris. I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, well, because yeah, Secular Rarity is saying, oh, Susanna sounded kind of happy when she said that she had one police report against her in India. <laughs> I was. It feels like a badge of honor because all of my friends who are on Twitter get these notices that the Pakistani police are trying to take down their tweets. And I feel like that's how you know you've arrived as an atheist <laughs> or specifically anti-Islam activist. I was like, this is how you, this is, you know, your right of honor. This is how you get baptized. You know, this is, this is how you know you made it. And I, my Twitter got deleted before I ever got to that point. So yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. this is the best I can do. <laughs> I'm like, I finally get some, some of the fun. <laughs> Um, Bubble is saying in terms of how slow the legal process is saying as a lawyer, hell yeah, I'm still litigating cases from the nineties. Damn. Whoa. Oh my God. This is going to be, this is going to take a while. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And this is only one of the cases against us. We still have the issue before the Supreme Court and the one that was in the Delhi court, right? Those are going to take even longer. We should do a fundraiser for a better computer for you, given how much you freeze. Um, Damn. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, by the way, Armin, you're going to go to Europe again for celebrating the sin? I think so. I'm not sure, but maybe. And guess what, I am. Harris? Yes, Susanna is. So there's that. So I'm hoping I could join as well. We'll see. Um, I'm so excited yeah um anything wait, else we want to highlight in the show was saying an actress got police complaints filed against her for saying god measured her bra size on oh, oh my god like if god created her didn't he <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh this one I, I i had to highlight because i have an issue with this i think armin first first got close with them by them he's talking about uh hindu apologists right and out of nowhere did blasphemy that hurt them what probably okay i never got close to like the people you're referring to are are like hindutva and bigots okay i never got close to them they just liked me because of my anti islam blasphemy i never i i was like from the very beginning when i realized that some a group of people are being like bigoted i would i would never want to be associated with them i was they thought i was in their camp i was never in their camp <clears throat> yeah harris is happy yeah, we're coming. It would be so much fun again. Yes, it would be. <laughs> We're gonna have so much fun, dude. Cool. cool. Absolute nonsense. What? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be unleashed. Oh, okay, okay. In Europe, I haven't <laughs> traveled in a really long time. I'm very excited. Oh my god. Okay, I hope I get. To, I hope I get to come as well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look, I want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. This guy that thinks we're biggest is inviting you to a speech. Now that Susanna is invited for a talk in India, waiting for her to arrive into an Indian jail directly from the airport. Oh, wow. Congratulations showing you how sensitive and, um, you are and what you represent. Like, it's so amazing. These people just out themselves, right? To just want, like this guy, by the way, is, is, is like a Hindu apologist in the live chat, constantly being butthurt over the things that we're saying, right? He's the guy so, who's saying co-parter <laughs> yeah i know bring it back home because it's so embarrassing they're so pathetic they're so weak they're so butthurt and like they have to just like they just dream about us paying the price and the fact that we haven't just makes them just make them burn so hard right yeah keep 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 burning or you keep crying over the fact that you we didn't suffer the way you wanted to right keep wishing keep wishing like keep making hot comments like this in our live chat so we could highlight it so for more people to see how pathetic you are and what you represent thank you for making our job a lot easier atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Abadi blasphemed against hindu deities 
We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.